Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Dream Big Show. I'm your host, Tail Double. Today on the show, we have a very special guest. She is well respected in her career as a Hennepin County District Court Judge and is involved in multiple community projects. Here to talk about her latest community project, please welcome Judge Lejeune Lane. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Glad to have you, Judge. Glad to have you. Thank you. So, you have an exciting project coming up. Yes. A really big one. Yes. Uh, would you like to tell me what that's about? The project is called the We Are Sabathany Project. And okay. it's a history uh, of oral stories, art, and experiences that people from the South Side who collectively make up the Sabathany neighborhood as well as the Sabathany Community Center have in common. So the stories, great and small, we're collecting from anyone. Everybody has something to tell us about their life and their experiences in the south side of Minneapolis. Wow, amazing. And, okay, so Sabathany is located where? On 38th Street and 3rd Avenue. It's the former Bryant Junior High School, the same place that Prince used to walk the halls oh, wow. when he was a young man. The singer Prince, right? The yes, the singer Prince. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes, he comes from the South Side. Oh, wow. South Side yes. doing a lot of big things. Exactly. Uh, besides yourself, of course, who else is involved in the project with you? Some of the, well, the other person who's working with me, her name is Anika Robbins, and her company is called Anika and Friends. And she is working, we're partners in this research and okay. collection project and uh, she has a uh, expertise in public relations, uh, a younger generation, so we have the generational uh, areas covered, and just a, a very wonderful person to work with. Wow, and so in this project, what are you hoping to accomplish? What we're hoping to do is pull together a story of the Sabathany Southside neighborhood, which from our research is every bit as exciting as Harlem yeah. in terms of the accomplishments in music, in the arts, in politic, polit political arena. Right. It's just a fantastic story. So there's going to be a lot of uh, different mixtures of things going on yes. in the project then. Yes. Wow. Is it going to involve, of course, like, you know, uh, students, kids? Who's it directed towards the target market? Well, the target market is all of the state of Minnesota. What we hope to do is have a public exhibit of uh, what we found okay. and then have it travel to schools and then ultimately go to the African American Museum. Okay. So we want uh, the collection accessible to the public. Uh, much of the art is already on the walls at Sabathany so okay. people can take walking tours and enjoy the art but people just don't realize or walk past right. all this fantastic all this, right, the stuff, all yeah. the creativity exactly. that goes on. That's real nice. When do you plan on launching the uh, this community project? Well, we launched in February. Okay, so you launched already. Yes. Okay. And we plan to to finish phase one at the end of May. Okay. And so we hope to seek additional funds to be able to continue our work. We're only able to do a snapshot with right. uh, the time period that we have, but we hope to be able to have funds to go deeper and uh, collect more information, uh, do more in-depth interviews, and, and really have something of museum quality. Wow. So where can people that are interested in this community project, how can they get involved or can they get involved? And if so, how, how can they get involved? They can contact me or contact Pamela Young at the uh, Sabathany Community Center. Okay. We have uh, the Sabathany office uh, at room 200. Room 200. The International Leadership Institute and Anika and Friends share an office for the purpose of the We Are Sabathany project. So they can drop in with notes, with uh, archivable information, trophies, you know, football, nice. jerseys, anything that they want wow, to everything. be able to have a part of the collection, <laughs> they can do that. Wow, well, yeah. it seems like a, a really big project and uh, sounds really exciting and yeah. very hopeful. 
Uh, is there anything else that you have coming up or that you want to talk about the project? Well, what I'd like to tell you is about some of the musical talent that comes from the South Side that oh. we've been able to, uh, to locate. Uh, one of them is a person by the name of Bobby Lyle, a jazz musician sounds who yeah, records a lot and is on the West Coast. He also has a musician brother, Oliver Lyle, who played at some of the clubs in Golden Valley on a regular basis. Okay. And then a sister, Florence Lyle, who uh, had uh, spent a time in Las Vegas as uh, part of the Las Vegas circuit. So from one family, you get yeah, three uh, people who made the big time. We also have Gary Hines, who's with the Sounds of Blackness. Sounds of Blackness, right. And his mother also was a professional musician and singer right. who uh, was all over the country singing jazz. And they just won another Grammy. Uh, another Grammy, <laughs> right. Yes, I was hearing about that. Wow. Yeah. So the Sounds of Blackness actually practice at Sabathony. Wow. And they have a record, they have a cabinet with their Grammys and their album covers and everything right in the Sabathony Community so Center. So you got Prince, you got yeah. the Sounds, Sounds of Blackness, Blackness, you got uh, Gregory Hines. Yes. Uh, just everyone. You do, and there's, there's so many other people that we found uh, that sing and do such a beautiful job from the South Side. And so we want to be able to have that collection of, of the singers and the musicians you also had a Sabathonites Drum and Bugle Corps, which marched in the Aquitennial. Okay. And they're starting a revival. So we're, they were in the Aquitennial last year, some of the original members. Right. And then you have people who've gone on to other recording careers who are coming back, uh, coming back to Minneapolis. There's a woman by the name of Cynthia Johnson, who's come back now from, originally from the South Side, uh, recorded Funky Town, which was oh, a yeah. popular song. Yeah. She's back I want in you town. To take me to exactly. Funky. Okay, all right. So she's back. She's I back the, at oh, Sabathony. I know, the, I know the jams, yeah. you know. I know the jams. Yeah. So she's <laughs> back at Sabathony <laughs> singing with the sounds. Okay. And then you've got all these actors who also came out of the South Side. So you have Lewis Whitlock, who played Fiddler on the Roof, uh, right. choreographed a number of the plays at Penumbra. And his sister, Dara Caesar, who's a singer, who is also uh, part of the royalty in the St. Paul Winter Carnival. They're okay. all from the South Side, just grew up a block or two from the Sabathony Community Center. And you have a number of other people who are politicians. So you have a number of other people who are politicians who also came out of the South Side. One of the first notable people from the Sabathony community in the political arena was Harry Davis Sr who was the first African-American to run for mayor of Minneapolis. Right, for mayor. And he lost to uh, Charles Stenvig, who was a police officer, who uh, won the election that year for mayor. But he paved the way for Sharon Sells Belton wow. to become the first African-American mayor from the South Side uh, to be elected to office. So you have the first African-American woman judge, Pamela Alexander, who came from the South Side, from Outside. the Sabathony community, the first African-American mayor. Then you had the first uh, African-American to head the park board, Mary Merrill Anderson, also from the South Side. Wow. And you have uh, members of the state legislature, and you have the first African-American man to become a judge in 1959 by the name of L. Howard Bennett. He was also from the South Side. Wow. And you had yeah, uh, black physicians, you had sports heroes. Uh, Blaine Chatham uh, broke a number of records in track and field, as well as a, a number of winners of Central High basketball, wow. track, and football champions. And when they closed all the schools, Warrington, Bryant, and Central, there was a, a total void in the community. Okay. So people got together from Sabathony Baptist Church and decided their children needed an anchor. They needed a focal point, they needed right. a place to Just go, yeah. and they started Sabathony Community Center. And they eventually brought, bought the Bryant Junior High building and made it a permanent institution. So we have some, some uh, forefathers who 
looked at the community and knew the community and the children needed an anchor and they started this center and it's been a, a great success for more than 25 years. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the We Are Sabathony project is happening as we speak. Um, you can follow up with Judge Lejeune Lane. Do you have an, a contact word? Yes, judgelang at gmail.com. People can email me. Okay. And if they have information or leads to where uh, documents or art or, or people connected like Kim Hines, who's a playwright, she's from the Sabathony neighborhood. Carolyn Holbrook, she's also a writer from the Sabathony neighborhood. So anybody who has, you know, wonderful stories to tell about their experiences the can contact us. Nice. Yes. Well, when we come back, ladies and gentlemen, I will have yet another special guest for you. We'll return. You know what I'm on. I'm in my zone. Uh -huh. Uh, here we go.